I just make another little quickie here. <laughs> I am in the process of uh, re-greasing my diffs. I'm not scraping out the old grease. I got blue grease in there, but I'm sticking some red grease in there. I don't care about mixing it. It's not going to make much of a difference. Trust me. I've been working with cars and trucks and grease and rigs for years. It doesn't really fucking matter. Not on this scale. You know, it's not like a high-performance machine. Anyway, I know some people say, don't put too much grease in there. Put just enough on there. That's fine. This is how buns rolls. I fill the fucking thing right up with grease. I give enough room around it. You can see some air pockets around the diff, around the pinion, so that I can get grease out of there and keep it in the way. That way, see that's channeled out. See there's an air pocket in there. So when I put it on there, the excess grease can get out of the way, but still keep the area filled up so that no shit gets in. And then yes, I'll pack a little bit in the ends when I put it together and whatnot. I still got to do the front. Then when you spin it a few times, it frees up. This way, any dirt that does get in there is not going to make it to here. And if it does, oh well. But that's why when I get it done and I free it up, I'm going to spray paint it with that stuff. It's just a leak sealer. It's just like a rubber painted stuff. And uh, it's like that Plasti Dip spray stuff, but cheaper. Like that's like 12 bucks compared to 24 bucks. I mean, come on. Just as good. And it's Rust Oleum. We all know that stuff's good. Okay. So, anyway, I guess I'd stop my music when, while I'm working here and show you how much grease is too much. Some people would say that's too much. It all depends on. You know, yeah, it does cause some resistance in the drivetrain. But this thing is geared. It's got a 90 tooth spur gear on it. And I think the, the stock size is there's an 80 and an 87 for the SCX10s. This one has a 90 on it and a 14 tooth on the motor. But then again, it's a Valenian brushless motor. And we, if you have one or ever used one, you know how mean those are. So it's got shitloads of torque. It doesn't get hot. This isn't too much. It's so that if I go up, if I get my diffs under mud, I don't have to worry about wrecking anything. Okay? Right on. Later.